Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, here with a, another Knife in 5 review for uh, EDC enhancement. Got a spider co here. I'm going to open it up, uh, check it out. So basically what we've got here is a Cutlery Shop exclusive. Uh, this one's actually brand new in the pack. Pretty sick. Uh, spider co packed in, as always. You know, nice. Keep the blade safe. We don't have any issues. Never had any problems with uh, things beating around, bumping around. Got some documents here, uh, you know, as you get with a uh, with an exclusive, they go through and they just let you know who did it. And, you know, a good little marketing tool for them. It gives some of these uh, vendors a, a good opportunity to market themselves. Cutlershop.com, great place to get blades if you want to. And um, So let's get in the knife, man, check it out. So it's enough for the packaging. Uh, as you can see, the model number right there. It is a pair of three. Uh, it's got G10 scales. And we're gonna get into it a little bit. All right, so let's check it out. Uh, Slick little blade, man. Uh, got the two-tone. Uh, again, G10 scales. Let's see. Oh, yeah, easy. Nice, easy flick, like always. You know, got the compression lock on the back side. Uh, I, I actually like this a little bit. Um, you know, for me, doing this is, is fine, but being able to kind of pull back, pop that is really nice. So, anyway, uh, you got the spider flick. Makes it easy. Nice clip. You can always get a uh, deep clip for that, but these are fine. I always find the spider coast sit really well. I, I, I have no issues with that. I'm a decent sized guy, uh, so you know I don't mind something uh, sticking a little bit high in the pocket. It doesn't bother me at all. So this particular one has a, uh, it's got Rex 45 steel. Uh, good steel, man. Uh, good and strong. Uh, holds edge really, really well. It does take a minute to get it sharp because uh, it is a little bit of a stiffer, stiffer material. But you kind of see, we we'll get up on the camera. Let's check him out. Excuse the greasy hands. Been working all day, guys. That whole job thing. Uh, but yeah, you can see, man, just super razor sharp. Slick little blade, uh, like all spider codes, man. They're just super tough. Same form factor that they normally do. Uh, I really like the lanyard hole. I like that you can flip the clip around. All those are really good pieces for me. Uh, you know, really exciting pieces to to get, especially if you're a collector. You know, uh, this particular blade, blade, uh, it is it's almost three inches uh, long on the blade, and then when it's completely open, you're like seven and a quarter. So, you know, again for just overall fun sake. You can kind of see, you know, fits in my hand pretty well. I'm six, three and some change and, uh, you know, decent little size knife for me. If I was a much smaller guy, you know, may fill out the hand a little bit better or if you're a little bit bigger, obviously kind of get it. I uh, see it will not drop shit all the way. Not a, not a big deal to me. That doesn't bother me. You can always loosen your deal here with the, the torques. Uh, you can see the lock up, you know, quality control, spider co, always good. Like zero movement in the lock up. Really like that. You see the lock here hooks in, it's got the detents there, so we press it, kind of gets out of the way, right? Uh, let's see, let's check out the centering. Uh, pretty center, you know, it's leaning a little bit to the right, not terrible. You know, I'd, I'd pass this if I was QC, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, it's hard to get these things dead, dead on, and the reason being, uh, even though these are machined and things, you still get some movement, you still get a little bit of, uh, you know, some swelling and things like that that happened during the during that particular phase of the, the build, so anyway. Good blade, man. Uh, again, the Rex 45, solid steel. Uh, does take a bit to get an edge, but once you get an edge, man, it's gonna hold it for a minute. Uh, as opposed to like an SV30, again, great steel on both sides. It's just one's a little harder than the other. Uh, these are currently sold out, so it's kind of difficult to get a, get your hands on them. Um, as always, check out the store. I, I end up running into these a good bit, so you can check out EDC Enhance on the uh, eBay. I'm gonna pin the, the link to that in the comments. But yeah, man, good little blade, uh, especially if you're a collector. Some guys really like the OD, some guys really like the bright orange. Um, this gives you a little bit of both. So it kind of goes, you know, if you're a reseller, great little piece to pick up because you can flip it pretty easily. Uh, I think this particular one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's already sold. I think we let it go for like 200 bucks. So, you know, not a bad buy for whoever got it. We made a few bucks. They got a, a nice blade in good shape. So anyway, guys. Hope you had a good day. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, always check us out. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, man. We really appreciate that. Right here, man, you just get brass tacks. We don't go into all the fluff. We just hit you five minutes or, or less, sometimes a couple minutes more if we really are into it, but mostly five minutes or less. We're going to hit it, quit it, and move on about our business, you know. So uh, on a scale of one to five, man, uh, for carryability, I personally wouldn't carry this uh, just because I don't particularly care for the colors, you know. Uh, it's, you know, for a $200 knife and kind of work I'm doing inside, outside, I'd rather go with a, a little bit of a beater. Uh, as far as a collectability, definitely cool, man. Uh, you can put it on the shelf, make sure to collect it and check it out. So anyway, uh, at one to five, would I buy it? 
you know, uh, I'm at like a two and a half. You know, if I was buying it to collect it, I'm gonna be at a five because it's super unique. But if I'm buying it to carry, you know, I, I think there's different options that would uh, personally suit my needs. Your mileage may vary. So, you know, uh, but definitely something to check out, Spider Kill. All right, guys.